Hello my friends, hello, I'm Matthew Street and welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you being here. And folks, although I did post a community message about this event, uh, I'm not sure how many people got to see that, so I decided to do a dedicated video to announce, folks, there is a big event coming up in less than two weeks on Friday, October 9th, what would have been John's 80th birthday. Can you believe it? The Fest for Beetle fans is having, now listen to this, it's going to be a great fun event, folks. You want to get in on it. A virtual 80th birthday salute to John Lennon. Isn't that fantastic, folks? John deserves it, and it's going to be wonderful. October 9th, which is a Friday, 5 to 11 p.m. on Zoom. Now, if you can't watch it live Friday night, 5 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, don't worry about it, because the event's going to be running if once you have your ticket for it, You'll be able to watch it up to a week or a week and a half after the event anytime you want. You can tune into it. So that's great. It's only 16 US dollars. And just go to the Fest for Beetle Fans website to find out about tickets. I've got mine already and I can't wait. Now what is this going to be about? This is going to be great, folks. There's going to be music, stories from stars and friends who knew John Lennon from all over the world. You're going to have people like Klaus Vormann participating in this event. Peter Asher from Peter and Gordon, also uh, brother of Jane Asher, Paul's ex fiance from all those years ago. Alan Parsons, Jeremy Clyde from Chad and Jeremy, Joey Marlin from Badfinger, Terry Sylvester, who's from the Hollies and from the Swinging Blue Jeans, Billy Kinsley from the Mersey Beats. We're going to have, oh, who else? Rod Davis, who used to be in the Quarry Men. Uh, Frida Kelly. Remember good old Frida? All right, she's going to be part of this. Uh, Bob Gruen, famous photographer, especially of pictures, photos of his friend John Lennon. Larry Kane, the great author and journalist who traveled with the Beatles on tour. And then Ken Womack, who just wrote that fabulous new book I did a review about uh, called... Um, John Lennon, 1980, uh, The Last Days in the Life. I don't have it in front of me. But you know Ken, Ken Womack. He's part of uh, that group called Talk More Talk, who do have a great little video log cast, vlog or whatever you call it, video cast. It's a great show if you haven't checked out Talk More Talk. Ken's going to be there, I'm sure, talking about his book. Folks, this is, this is going to be great. It's going to be streaming live from Daryl's house. If you know Daryl from Hall & Oates? Well, he has a, a, a facility in upstate New York, and the house band is going to be Liverpool. They're going to go on about 9.30 p.m. Billy J. Kramer from Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas is going to be going on about 9 p.m. And then the big event for me that I'm very excited about, folks, I am really pumped up about this. Is his, I don't have the album yet, but it's coming out next week. On October 9th, John's birthday, as you know, Gem Records is releasing this great new album called Gem Records Celebrates John Lennon. And all the artists on the Gem Records label are participating in this album, and they're going to be live at Daryl's house for this event on October 9th, playing songs from this album. Can you beat it? This is coming out on CD, and a special limited edition red vinyl that you can get through like Amazon, you can get it through the Fest for Beatle fans. This is going to be a great album with a Cover art drawn by the famous illustrator Al Hirschfield. Great picture of John at home, New York City. Folks, it's going to be a wonderful album. I'm really looking forward to it. And this is going to be fabulous because th this is going to be a premiere concert playing cuts from this album by all the artists on Gem Records. And that's going to be about 7 p.m. on Friday, October 9th. But don't forget, as I said, you can check out this concert anytime you want after it's after it it goes live. They're going to have it available to you if you buy a ticket. And I, you know me, I'm excited because one of the artists on this album is that little band that could that I, uh, you know, saw at the bitter end like over a year ago in New York City, the Midnight Callers, who also, I'll show you, here's their brand new debut album is coming out two weeks after the John Lennon album comes out, which they're prominently featured on. The Midnight Callers have a debut album coming out on Gem Records called Red Letter Glow, which is fabulous from the cuts I've heard from it. It's going to be great. And so they're going to be there playing live songs. I'm just all excited about this. You've got John Lennon, the Beatles, the Fest for Beatle fans. Uh, Gem Records celebrates John Lennon 
folks are going to be there, like the weaklings and the grip weeds, and then my favorites, the midnight callers, are going to be there. Uh, in the Anderson Council, Jonathan Pushkar, Richard Barone, and on and on. It's just going to be a great event. Billy J. Kramer Live, the house band, Liverpool Live. Did I say the weaklings, the grip weeds, and the midnight callers too? <laughs> I'm just so excited about this, folks. So please check it out. You can get your tickets now. Go to the Fest for Beetle Fans website. Check it out. Saturday, I'm sorry, sorry, Friday, October 9th, 5 to 11. John's birthday. Remember that. Get your tickets now. Enjoy. Let's have fun together. I'll be watching live, and I'll probably be watching it after that, too, if I can. I'm going to watch it over and over again. I think you should, too. Folks, it's going to be a great event. Don't you think so, guys? It's going to be a great event. Let's all check it out. For John, let's do it for John. Thank you, Fest for Beetle fans. Thank you, Gem Records. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As a fan from the bottom of my heart, we appreciate what you're doing to pay tribute to the great John Lennon. Thank you. Bless you all. Bye-bye.